Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and our entire team of meteorologists uh, has tips each and every day. Yesterday was the difference between a watch and a warning, uh, severe weather watch or warning. Now we're talking flooding. A flood watch is issued when flooding is possible, and a flood warning is issued when flooding is happening or about to happen. Here are some safety tips. These are very common sense, but you'd be surprised the number of people that try to drive through high water and either get stuck, need to be rescued, or in some cases they unfortunately die. So keep this in mind. Flood safety tips, avoid flood prone areas, those low lying areas. Don't attempt to drive over a flooded road or a bridge. That's the number one thing. And by the way, the number one weather phenomenon that kills people is flooding. That's the number one thing. Do not attempt to wade across a flooded stream because the current's probably very strong and never playing around storm drains or flood prone areas. As we look at live Doppler radar, we do have some snow showers out there coming across northern Kent County right along the uh, 131 corridor. There's some snow showers across Muskegon, western Ottawa County in here toward the I-94 corridor around Van Buren County, and those will continue through the morning hours. Might see some minor grassy accumulations. There's a cold front dropping on through the area. Once that moves on through, I think these will tend to taper off. Uh, but suffice to say, some snow showers, flakes, and flurries through at least the first part of the day. Temperatures are chilly out there. We're in the mid-20s across a lot of the area, 25 in uh, Middleville and Hastings, 26 in uh, Grand Rapids, 25 in Belding, and we're 26 in Big Rapids. Unfortunately, that's only part of it. There's a bit of a wind out there, so that's producing a wind chill. It feels like it's in the teens, so that's what you want to dress yourself and dress the kids for this morning if they're going out to the bus stop. Let's look at future wind speeds throughout the day. We'll have a brisk northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, driving wind chills down all day into the upper teens to lower 20s. There might be a brief break overnight, but those winds ramp up toward morning tomorrow. This is at 6 a.m. These larger, wider numbers are the sustained winds. Tomorrow, they'll be out of the south and west sustained at almost 15 to 25 miles per hour with some higher gusts than that. So that's going to give us some high wind chills again for tomorrow. So the winds stay with us both today and tomorrow. Today, mostly cloudy, breezy, snow showers, maybe some flakes or flurries. Highs only around the mid-30s with a northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here comes our future track model. You can see these snow showers, especially along and west of US 131, but they should begin to taper off through the afternoon. I still think we're looking Looking at mainly cloudy skies both today and tonight. There may be a quick burst of some snow showers along and north of I-96 overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Really light stuff if we see it. Otherwise, tomorrow's another mostly cloudy, breezy day. Tuesday night into Wednesday, there's not much going on, but we should start to break that cloud cover up on Wednesday and see a little bit of sunshine. Uh, but uh, we're still going to be chilly. Uh, most of this week is going to be on the chilly side. So as we take a look at our planner, we're in the mid-30s today. Low 40s tomorrow with those AM snow showers possible, breezy, 37 on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday night, there may be some snow showers coming in. That'll go into Friday as well. If we look at that next system, this is Thursday at 6 p.m. It's this low pressure area and just north of there that may start to spread some snow in here as we get into Thursday night and Friday as that low tracks off to the south and east. You can see this may be a widespread uh, plotting of some snow as we go through the day on Friday before it gets out of here a little bit later in the day. But uh, that'll be a quick mover, be in and be out. If we look at what kind of accumulations we're talking about, it doesn't look like much, but from that system right now, I could see maybe one to two, perhaps two to three inches of accumulation of snow. And again, that would be late Thursday night going into the day on Friday. So we'll be watching that. Only 39 on Saturday, chances of PM rain or snow, and then back into the mid-40s by Sunday. That's our forecast. It's 548. Rob?